Hi folks, hope you're okay today. It's good to be with you. We're looking at the goodness of God in your life. So let's turn to Isaiah 55 verse 3. And the first goodness of God in your life is verse 3. Incline your ear and come unto me here or your soul shall live and I will make an everlasting covenant with you even show mercies of, of David. And God, and if you look at verse 7, let the wicked forsake his way, return unto the Lord, and it goes on, will have mercy to our God, for he will pardon, it goes on. And God will pardon, has pardoned you if you believed in him, believed that he died for you on the cross. So one of the good things in your life today is the grace of God. That God has shown you his grace, his undeserved mercy. So rejoice today. So we're looking at good things in your life. Let's turn to John 10.10. 10. John 10.10. 10. John 10.10. 10. We read, The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy I have come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly and Christ wants you to have it more abundantly and he's given you abundant life the good thing that you have today is that you have God in Christ and that is abundant life my friend where would you be without Christ you have Christ today he's come to give you abundant life Hi folks, we're looking at uh, the good things in your life. Let's turn to 1 Corinthians chapter 15, 10. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 10 says, But by the grace of God I am what I am, and his grace which was bestowed upon me was not in vain, but I labored more abundantly than they all, yet not I, but the grace of God which was with me. Paul labored more abundantly. In other words, he had a work of God to do. And God has a work for you to do. doesn't matter where you are at this present time. Whether you're unemployed or, or not. Whether you're sick or not. Or whether you're timid or not. God has a work for you to do. You have an abundance of work to do for God today. Hi folks. We're looking at the good things in your life. And now if you turn to 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 11. 2 Peter Chapter 1, verse 11. For so an entrance shall be ministered unto you abundantly into the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. The other good thing that you have, not only have you got grace, that is a good thing. You have Christ, that is an awesome thing. You have service to things to do, that is a great thing and, you, and a, a wonderful thing. And you have glory you have an uh, abundant entrance you are heading for glory you're heading for heaven you're heading to be with God forever and ever that's a great blessing that you have today in your life if you believe in Jesus